What's up guys? So we're out in the shop and today we're going to be working on sharpening the chopper build. So again, still is ADCRV2 that is quarter of an inch thick at the spine. We've got stabilized Australian burl scales with some eighth inch thick maroon G10 liners. We've got G10 pins that are in black so you can't really see them. And then that brass lanyard tube right there. I really want to sharpen this and get to chopping some things with it because it's actually it's one of my most comfortable handles that I've ever done and I mean it just lends itself to just swing through something so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna sharpen this today chop some things have some fun I got a few different things that I'm gonna end up chopping with it but let's get it let's get it done so we're going to do something a little bit different than what I've done in the past and we're going to actually use the 8 inch contact wheel to set up the secondary bevels for this knife and right now I'm using a 400 grit ceramic belt on the 8 inch contact wheel and the big thing to focus on here is nice even motions and consistent motions whenever you're doing this so that you don't end up accidentally changing the degree of bevel that you're trying to get now of course I don't measure these things I go purely off of what feels right whenever I'm doing it and if you want to know what your degrees of your bevels are there are tons of jigs and tons of different sharpening systems that'll let you know that but I go with what feels right and leave it there now as I'm going through and doing this I am going against the rotation of the belt for this lower grit and then whenever I get up to higher grits I'll slowly get to the point to where I am going with the rotation of the belt it helps build nice burrs whenever you're doing that so once we feel confident with that secondary bevel we're going to go ahead and step up to the 800 grit belt that we have right here and we're going to do some passes going against the rotation of the belt but we'll end up ending going with the rotation of the belt. And this definitely worked out pretty well. Uh, it's a lot easier working in this bigger open area than it is to be working on the 1x30, but we will definitely still have to work with the 1x30, so you'll see that here in a second. Now, we are going with the rotation of the belt here, and I did find out that going towards the front of the wheel was actually a little bit easier to control so I'll probably be doing that from this point forward so now that we've got a nice burr starting to form we're gonna bump up to the 1000 grit belt that is on the 1x30 we're gonna go with the rotation with this belt and what we're really focusing on here is really refining that burr and getting it nice and thin and folding over real easily so that we can end up going to the leather strapping belt so once we feel confident that we have a nice burr and everything looks smooth then we're going to go ahead and put the leather strapping wheel on the 1x30 and I'm just using a white compound on this belt but we're going to do a few passes and we're just going to get that burr nice and removed so that we have a ultra razor sharp knife. Now we'll tell you, knives can only get so sharp whenever you're uh, having different edge geometries. This is definitely not a chef's knife so or a, a razor, but it'll definitely shave as you can see right here. But this has really got a thicker edge geometry meant for chopping and things like that but definitely get a nice good shaving sharp edge on it we'll get to see how it retains that edge here in a minute all right guys let's have some fun so we've got this little water bottle do a little water bottle slice with it <laughs> okay. There's a 
first little part down. See if this water bottle is big enough. Took a step back to not get myself wet, and I did not really get myself wet. What do you uh, what do you think about that? Got a nice little, nice little cup here. It went through clean enough that all of the water stayed in that was at the cut line. That is awesome. All right, well, there's that. Now, we're gonna end up cutting through the two by four as well, but I got another thing that I wanna try. And this is either gonna work with this knife or it's not gonna work with this knife. Find out. See if it did anything to the edge. Got a bunch of pieces that chopped off, and uh, the only thing that's on there is some dirt and stuff from the uh, from the wood. We were going straight through it into the wood there. Might have to try and find those pieces. That'll work. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go ahead and wrap up today's vlog with a little bit of that. So that is the final product right there. Absolutely just turned out beautiful. I mean, I, I could not be happier with this knife. I mean, for just a good chopper and the edge retention on it, absolutely crazy. I mean, 
it's super sharp. It slides through stuff really easily. But being able to get there and just chop after that brass rod and just chop off pieces of it, that was cool. And it didn't do any damage to the blade. All I did was get after it with the buffer and get all of the stuff from the wood and everything off of there. But I mean, just no edge damage whatsoever from that. <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited. Um, whenever I was like, maybe I should cut some type of metal or something like that. And I thought, man, I don't want to screw up the knife because this is probably going to end up going to a customer if I don't keep it myself. And I thought, now nah, screw it. I'm just going to go ahead and try it out. And it worked out great. So I'm happy about that. Uh, I'm happy with all the slice tests and stuff. I cut through the water bottles. I didn't know how it was going to go with cutting through the, the two liter bottle, but dude, it cut through that like, well, a, a knife through a two liter water bottle. You know what I mean? It worked. And uh, I'm happy about that. Hopefully y'all are too. Hopefully this was a fun uh, video for y'all. And if it was, let me know in the comments section what your favorite part about it was. It might have been the cutting stuff. It might have been the sharpen stuff. I don't know. You let me know what it is. I'm excited to see it. Guys, that's the end of this one. You know, if y'all would, give this video a thumbs up. You can share this video or one of my other videos if you would like. And if you haven't yet, bottom corner, hit that subscribe button so you get notified of the stuff that we have that's coming up. And we got a lot of stuff coming up. Guys, thank y'all for coming by. Thank y'all for spending your time with me. Y'all have an amazing day. I'll catch y'all next time. And let's go ahead and do some, uh, some paper slicing while we're getting ready to do the outro. Yep. What do you think? It's sharp. Catch y'all next time.